It's Friday Junior. Okay, and it's Thursday? Yeah. Crap. Okay, hello everyone. Welcome to day two of my vlog. Love it. No. <laughs> Okay, well, it is day two. We are in Siena. It it's is 8.42 a.m. Th that means it's what in uh, America? Like two something? Um, two for, two, I can't do math. 2.42, because it's six hours. Oh, yes. It's 2.42 a.m. Um, America. How'd you sleep, Francis? I was just up great. Um, yeah, like perfect temperature, you know, Italian wind, Italian air. We're just driving, you know? <laughs> um, I slept well. I like it felt really good. I knocked out. We got back and we were really really tired. Yeah. It was a lot. We're but line. And because it's legal here. Well, <laughs> well I'm so <laughs> But um yeah, so today we're supposed to be going to the Siena Institute of Liberal Arts. Yes. And we're gonna be learning Lisa, which is Italian. Well, first style. we're doing Deaf Culture. Yes. For that's the morning session, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna go to lunch, and then in the afternoon we're gonna be learning Lise, which is Italian Sign Language. Yeah. And I don't really explain why I'm like learning all this, <laughs> but basically, um, first off, I go to Penn. <laughs> Secondly, at Penn, I took a class called Global Deaf Rights and Oppression. Yeah, and it's a global seminar, which means that during the semester we would learn about Global Deaf Rights and like. Um, like different deaf communities and then at the end of the semester we would come to Italy and like interact with different deaf communities to better learn about that. It's like a lot about like experiential learning and like just understanding like the community and like the culture here mm -hmm. so I think that's like kind of like the pretext to all this. Yeah and it's really good. I like I really like the class and the people were really cool. Yeah, it was fun. dinner was really fun, and it's really fun being here now because like it's one thing to be in a class and like be stressed out together <laughs> and want to kill each other, but it's like another thing to be in a no, different is, country. No, it's literally so great. I like remember like two weeks ago we all wanted to like literally come at each other's throats, mm. and now we're just like together and hanging out and like touring and doing touristy stuff and looking like stupid Americans. Right, so, right, right. It's like it's really, really great and. I think like we're all gonna come out of this hopefully like loving each other. That's what I'm hoping for. No. But I feel like that's what it's like going towards after just like day one. Yeah. But okay, we're gonna finish getting ready and I'll come back to you guys with uh, more clips. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Hi guys, so we just finished our, this is Francis, we just finished our lecture um, on deaf culture in Italy and it was really good. Um, we were struggling a little bit with jet lag. Oh my. <laughs> we were struggling a little bit with jet lag, um, but I really liked it. The professor who taught it, at, the professor who taught it was really good. Um, she kept us engaged and now we're gonna go eat lunch and then after lunch we're gonna go to our lease class to learn Italian sign language. Yo. <laughs> We're back, back in bed. Who are saying what? So we just Ooh, ate lunch. the best lasagna on Amazing. this planet. And Brie. What's up? What's up? Uh, oh. <laughs> we had the best lasagna. It was really it was good. It was so good. Yeah. Like, when I tell you, like, y'all don't know lasagna until I'm you good. come to Siena. No, okay. And why does everything <laughs> taste so, like, no, better? Well seasoned? Well seasoned. Like, I'm like, unprocessed. Bland who? We don't need salt here. No, Big Fendi. <laughs> it's like, you don't even have to ask for any condiments or anything because everything just tastes like they put their love and attention into it. And they were like, we only want you to have our love and attention. Yeah. And, and like, I food. felt it. And I felt it. Yes. So, what are we doing now? Well, that's a good question. Thank you for asking. Uh, right now, we are about to have gelato for the first time. Yeah. Um, well, wait, real wait, gelato. wait, wait. You should make this the, um, the, 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 the thumbnail. thumbnail. <laughs> All right, back to gelato. 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 
<laughs> wait, did you get a good though? <laughs> oh wait, that is a good one though. Okay, so we're really taking this YouTube thing seriously. I'm really trying to give you guys the content that you deserve, you know, the Italy content. And also, when I'm like doing whatever and I look back on this, I'm gonna be so excited to see. And I'm gonna miss it a lot. Oh, and the friendships that we've made. <laughs> from <laughs> but yeah, not two days down. Um, but I'm actually really excited for gelato. I don't know what flavors they're gonna have. I hope vanilla. Vanilla. Vanilla's what? You're in Italy, thick. Sister, if you get vanilla, I'm literally judging you. <laughs> but okay, I'll turn this back on when we get to gelato. <laughs> I sure did. <laughs> <laughs> we just had our ASO, I mean ASO, at least class Italian sign language, also the and brightness. we're on the struggle bus. Yeah, it was pretty difficult considering the fact that we don't have a, an a, a base in ASO, but Francis speaks Italian. Yeah, so I mean, okay, I also talked to Jillian who's like our like guide, pet, like our global guide, whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, and I like talked to her and we both like agreed that it was easier to understand the lease because a lot of lease includes like mouthing and that mouthing is in Italian. Yeah. So like that was like really, there are. it was easier to follow because are we you had that. So yeah, it was just a lot like in the sense. Car. <laughs> okay, that's another thing. There are these cars like, wait, can you see it? Well, that was a motorcycle that time. But, but there are like cars just like driving and there aren't really sidewalks. So you kind of have to get out the way or you die. Maybe? It could be kind of overwhelming because um, we don't know it. And that's understandable that it would be un overwhelming. Um, but it was three hours. Yeah. That's the thing. It was three hours. three hours. And I literally walked out and I was just like, A, I have a headache. But B, 
I literally think I have like an attention deficit because I was really struggling after like a certain amount of time to pay attention yeah. and keep up. But then there was also a combination of like me not knowing Italian or Lease or ASL, which Jamie, our professor, was like translating some of this in <laughs> ASL. And we didn't know. It was so funny because people would be like, what? And then Jamie would translate, and then everyone that doesn't know anything would just be like, what are you saying? Like, I don't, this is a yeah. <laughs> And it's funny, like, it was funny, I, I, I wish I could record, but it would've been really awkward. Like, looking around the room at the people who didn't know Lease or ASL, <laughs> not, who didn't know ASL, and we all just looked like, yo, what the duck is going on? <laughs> <laughs> but we, we were trying, and that's what matters right now. Uh, yeah. We're free for the rest of the night, so we're talking about getting food. We do, do we know where we're going is the real question. Absolutely not. Yeah, and that's the answer. That's the answer. But. We're gonna find pizza and then yeah. we're gonna roam yeah. around Siena. So yeah, so one final conclusion. Yeah. Yes. Even though like yes, this whole like least learning experience was difficult. Uh -huh. It's not like this wasn't expected. Yeah. Like we had to write like a pre departure thing where yeah. we like talked about like our expectations mm -hmm. given everything we've learned this semester. Mm -hmm. And literally I was like, I expect to feel like frustrated, yeah. like uncomfortable, like you know. Yeah. But like I'm like like that's like the point of learning new things and like putting yourself in like environments you aren't familiar with. Exactly. And also I don't know, I feel like it's a it's like one of those things where like I'm privileged I guess to be able to be like, oh, I'm struggling, but like, there are some people who are deaf and aren't even able to learn sign language as an option because it's not offered to them. Yeah. But I think the exposure is good, regardless of yeah. where, where, whatever level we're on, yeah. because it kind of opens up like our brains to be like, hmm, we should be thinking about like deaf communities more, you know? Yeah. Agreed. Just a thought. Just a thought. Just, Just a think thought. peace. Pew. Like and subscribe. <laughs> While we were sitting in the piazza, one of the neighborhoods, I think it was like Cascada de Tortuga, it, they, a big group of the people from the neighborhood like just walked all around the piazza and they were just like marching and running and like celebrating and that's what I got here. So I just wanted to show that and I wanted to give a context so it made sense and you didn't just see a whole bunch of Italian people running around confused like it's cultural, it's celebratory, it makes sense. Back to the video. Well guys, so um, earlier I didn't get gelato because I didn't like the flavors and I knew I wanted mango and we're back now, it's like almost 10 p.m. I got mango. So this is me um, eating mango gelato from this house. It's like Italy for the first time. Yeah. Yeah. Really? I told you to I I waited for a reason, yeah. and I knew it was just this one. Oh. 